This is the lockpicking lawyer, and sometimes I see a design flaw so egregious and thoroughly boneheaded that the most logical explanation is that they did it on purpose. And I think once you see the security flaw in this Costway brand, Fingerprint Safe, you'll wonder how it ever made it to production. Now, like many of these electronic safes, this has a mechanical backup cylinder hidden behind this magnetic nameplate. Now we could pick this open with my Covert Instruments tubular lockpick, but then I discovered there is a gap in between the face of the lock and the door of the safe. In fact, a gap so big that I can slip this slightly bent pick into it and toggle the locking mechanism. Let me show you how that's done. This is currently locked. Just going to reach in and push down and just that quickly, we got it open. Let's do that one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. Okay, that's obviously a big problem because pretty much anything thin and rigid will open this up. Chances are you have something in your trash right now that'll work. I know I certainly did. I went into my trash to get this old orange juice carton and cut a little strip from the side. Here we're going to use it to open the safe just that quickly. And I'm also going to try a little bit of Red Bull can. Once again, this is locked and I'm just going to push down and it opened up. Okay. Now that you can see this exploit does work, I'm going to take it apart and show you from the back of the door why it works. This is the back of the safe door and I've removed the rear cover. We can see the mechanical backup cylinder and how it interacts with this solenoid. The solenoid is what stops the bolts from retracting when the safe is locked. Now, if I turn the key, you can see the mechanical backup cylinder pushes the solenoid down and allows those bolts back. I'm now going to remove the key and insert this pick and you'll be able to see what happens from the inside. You can see the pick has just been inserted and if I push down, it pushes down on the solenoid. Once again, locked and unlocked. Okay, folks, I don't know what the designers of this were thinking when they left a hole right on the door of the safe and in the worst possible location. It's such an utterly idiotic decision that in my view, the only explanation is that they did it on purpose. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.